Welcome back to my way. Now, just over an hour's drive from Brisbane, tucked away in the beautiful hinterland of the Sunshine Coast with a picturesque glasshouse mountains as the backdrop. It's a unique dairy farm run by an equally unique mother-daughter team. Morning, Peppa. Hello, Patrick. Hello. Started with two and now we have 90. Come on, Priscilla. Hello, Tarun. You've got to be a little bit crazy to be a camel farmer. Just a, a little bit. A lot. <laughs> Hi, I'm Yasmin. And I'm Lauren. And these are our beautiful girls. <laughs> you gonna, you gonna start? Okay. okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> it started from a science perspective. Okay, hey, welcome everybody to Q Camel. My we were living west and I watched a lot of people lose their lives when they were you know, in drought, even though cattle's king in Australia and I thought there's got to be something that, that does a little bit better in drought. And I came across camels and I actually wrote a two-year study on them. And then I got my first two. Funny enough, I was petrified of them because they were so big. <laughs> now they're just part of me. From then after having them as pets, we went, oh, I think we want to work with them more and so that's why we decided to start the dairy and base our whole lives around them because you know our love for camels came first and then our dairy came second. It's called Camel Cuddles Tour for a reason because the camels are going to cuddle you not you cuddling the camels okay they're very very affectionate. They're all very very they're different. different. And like people. Yeah they, they're like giant half ton dogs. She's like, what are you doing to me? You're embarrassing me, Mum. You're embarrassing me. <laughs> They're very cheeky, very intelligent, super affectionate. They really crave affection and they come up to you just wanting to cuddle. Get your close-up, darling. Get your close-up. You're gorgeous. Those lips and eyes. When we first said it was camel milk, Australians are quite parochial, so they went, ugh, camel milk, because they were seen as a feral animal. Sometimes they want to be in here till the babies are two and a half <laughs> because they like it so much. Camel milk, most people are quite surprised. It actually tastes really similar to normal milk. It's probably in between a skim milk and a full cream, that's what I say. So it's got a creamy taste, but it's quite light. It's not heavy on the, the back of your throat. But what's different about us to a lot of other dairy companies is that we are the entire distribution channel. So we are the farmers and producers. Um, then we're also and the processors. And the processors, the manufacturers, and then we deliver and we do the sales. We also do cheese. It's a Persian feta because you can't make hard cheeses out of camel milk. You can only make soft cheeses. We also do a skincare line that was specifically designed for people with sensitive skin. This is an ancient creature, you know, and their milk is fabulous for us. You know, farming's farming. It's that you have your great days and you have your, yeah. your not so good days, and, and um, you know, it's hard work. Go through it, Isabel, you can't have another cuddle. Quick, go. No, Isabel, go. <laughs> You've got to you have know, a lot so. of energy to do what we do. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you do. There's yeah, a lot of coffee do. that goes around. Yeah. I don't drink coffee. Don't I do, you? I drink a lot of it. I drink about four cups a day, oh, no. <laughs> just to keep up with you. Yeah, so. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, someone just farted. <laughs> <laughs> a camel just farted, it just, it, it breezed <laughs> over here. Yeah. Oh. oh dear. We sometimes have people who actually stand here and will cry while they're with them because they're so, they're like really soothing on the soul and so people will just stand here and go, oh my gosh, I didn't know how much I needed them. And it's so nice to share that with people. And yeah, it is. Yeah, you just feel a warm and fuzzy just knowing that you've, you know, given them that experience. Thank you, everyone. Thank you so much. I hope you all had a nice time. Yes, yay, good, good, good. It's nice because, you know, we're all about giving back, you know, giving back to the land and giving back with our product and, and then it's nice to be able to give that back to people as well. When we go to bed at night, we know we've done the best we possibly can with them and that we've treated them with love and kindness. And it's very much what our business is about, love and kindness.
If you'd like to cuddle a camel, why not? Or try any of the Q Camel products. Check out their website. And of course, for any inspiration on anything Sunshine Coast, head to visit sunshinecoast.com.